Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at a £15 backlit knockoff Game Boy from AliExpress. So I was having a look around AliExpress the other day and I came across this. Now, all the time on AliExpress we're getting newer and improved fake and rip-off consoles and when I came across this I started getting quite excited. For those of you who have uh, collected Game Boys, you'll know that the backlit uh, AGS-101 is the most desirable Game Boy of the bunch. Um, and that's because it has a proper um, LCD backlit display. There's no like faffing around trying to get um, lighting on your screen so that you can see what's going on. Um, so when this popped up on AliExpress for £13, I thought, okay, I will definitely buy this as it will make a good video. Just gonna go ahead and close those. You guys know that I'm not allowed scissors, so I'm really being a bit naughty here. Oh, wow. They've included some One Piece and some Mario stickers. That's actually really cool. <laughs> so this doesn't come with a box. First thing I'm noticing is this is a lot smaller than an actual um, Game Boy Advance, but we'll have a look at that in just a moment. Um, it also comes with a um, micro USB charging cable and a AV cable because I, obviously at this point it's so cheap for them to include a TV out that they might as well, but nobody likes that, so let's not bother about that. Essentially this was a, um, a fake Game Boy Advance looking thing uh, that I saw on AliExpress for, I think it's around about £15 or $15 or something like that. Um, and it has a backlit screen. Oh goodness. So I was definitely expecting it to be the same size um, case and buttons, mainly because um, reproduction Chinese cases are so, so cheap and they bash them out in China all the time. Uh, but it's actually not. It's just a slightly smaller um, mini Game Boy Advance, which actually looks really, really cool. And I imagine a lot of people are going to be um, using these shells to make little Raspberry Pi um, consoles. So immediately then, let's have a quick look around the console. Um, well, it's not really a console. It's more just a games device. But... There's no cartridge slot, obviously. Um, it takes a Game Boy Advance SP knockoff battery, so that's good if you want to replace them with another one if it gets broken at any point. Um, there's no um, link port, obviously, because this is definitely not going to play Game Boy Advance games, I imagine. Um, obviously, there's no headphone jack because it uses a video out at the top, and that's pretty much a lot. It's got a little volume wheel at the bottom, which looks super, super crusty. Um, also, interestingly enough, there's like a gnarled finish on the plastic on the side, which is kind of funny that they'd go to that ergonomic level for extra grip, because this is China that we're talking about. Um, the D-pad is a lot smaller, but it feels pretty good. A and B buttons are really, really small, quite unpleasant, and they're quite, like, yeah, tall, quite raised. Look a little bit like pills, actually. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how they feel. Start and select is micro-switched. So it feels a little bit cheap. But other than that, LNR is also micro-switched. It feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna to need to turn it down. So we have an option out of English and Chin oh. Oh, Chinese, I guess, on, uh, and on the top, and then English. Press A. So there's 400 games. First thing I notice is that the screen is really, really high quality. There's also a little LED indicator at the top there to see that it's on. But the screen is actually really high quality. Very, very surprised with that. There's a slightly strange purple tint and that's just the um, color settings on my camera. So let's have a look at some games. So it says that there's 401, um, which often is actually the, ca the case. So we don't have to um, go through and check all of those. But I imagine there'll be a lot of um, quite crappy games on here. Amongst all of that, we should see some Famicom ripoff potentially. Plumbers. If this isn't Super Mario Bros, I will eat this console. Um, there we go. Super Bros 6. It's not even Super Mario. Wait, it's just Tiny Toon Adventures. Okay, so this is what uh, what happens every now and again when you get a slightly weird, cheap console. Um, it's got like a reskinned... So this is obviously just Tiny Toon, but they've reskinned it with um, Super Mario over the top. Quite random, but often these games still usually work fine. Um, it's just funny that they um, that they even bother going to that level. 
Okay, so here is a more familiar title. It's quite difficult to find... Oh my goodness me, I just reset it again. It's been very difficult to try and find a game on here that's um, easily to show you and not something that's super boring to watch. But that was actually a game that we're all familiar with. Plumber Bros. Here we go. Start. This is a really, really classic um, Super Mario game. There's no lag, and everything seems to be um, playing at a at the correct speed. The audio sounds fine. It's difficult to uh, move. But yeah, I don't really know how to how to play this. I think you have to go underneath them and and uh, knock them over, or maybe you click POW and then you go up. I don't know how you play this game, guys. This is quite quite embarrassing. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any sort of slowdown at all, um, which is really good. It's a little bit of a shame that it doesn't have um, Game Boy games on there. For those of you who ask, because I do get a lot of questions, um, can I re like can you reprogram this to play Game Boy Advance games? That's not really something that's possible because the um, the games are actually hard like soldered on a chip, um, and then. All the hardware is like specifically made for um, for that specific chip. So in summary, then it's uh, definitely quite a cool little console. It's a little bit of a shame that it doesn't play the Game Boy Advance games, but that's something that we're, we're pretty standard and pretty used to by now. Um, I imagine a lot of people will repurpose this um, small shell and actually fit a uh, Raspberry Pi in there. It's definitely a nice size. Um, the screen quality is is quite high. Uh, the ratio, the aspect ratio is a little bit off compared to the Game Boy Advance, but that's because um, all of the games that this thing plays, the Famicom and NES titles, is 4x3 aspect ratio, so um, that's pretty standard stuff as well. It feels really high quality. Um, it doesn't feel as high quality as an actual Nintendo Game Boy, but it's definitely um, higher quality than, than usual. So yeah, all in all, I'm really, really impressed with it um, for how inexpensive it is. You really can't fault these things, to be honest with you. Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description if you would like to find one yourself and pick one up. They do do them in different colours. I think all of the other colours are quite bright, like reds and yellows. Um, obviously, purple is the most um, uh, the most kind of similar to the actual official thing. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.